I don't think most women can actually genuinely understand how lonely the majority of men are. Yeah. And you need, you need to truly understand if you're Joe <laughs> Schmo, average in nearly every way in Starbucks working, you ain't getting a DM ever. You well, girls, you girls, you girls will never be lonely. As much as you might be unhappy with the possible suitors, you can at least fuck about and flirt if you feel sad. Yeah. There are men out here in the world mm -hmm. who have genuine loneliness. And, and I can prove this statistically. Why do you think it's all the men killing themselves compared to the women? But could we blame this on lack of communication? No, Why no, we're gonna blame this. No, 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 no. I'm just saying to you. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm very. I'm just very curious. The men, the men He's with telling you right now. The men with absolutely zero partners. Do you know what they try? They certainly try communication. <laughs> they're trying. <laughs> you're just ignoring their DMs. Thirsty. Trust me, they're trying communication. Yeah. The reason is, is that we have to understand we live in a world now. And, mm -hmm. and we've always lived in a world where women have a natural, a natural inclination to align themselves with the top tier males. I can prove this to you. You see these chicks, they see a rapper in the club. They want to fuck with the rapper. Do you think they believe that rapper is loyal? No. No, they no. don't give a fuck. He's the dawn. That's the game. It's always been the game. It still is the game. So when we're talking about how it's harder for men than women, we're talking about the vast majority of men. Because you women, because you're all beautiful and you're all smart, most of you only interact with top tier males. So you're like, well, I have these problems, but he has all these bitches because he's a G. Most men ain't shit. You know that. If you think about it, most men ain't shit. Go walk down the high street. Tell me how many of them stand a chance with you. Usually know. fucking zero. Most men are desperately lonely. <laughs> desperately. Yeah. So you want to sit here and talk about the struggles of life as a woman. There are men out here. The, the male suicide rate is so many times higher than women for a reason. Of course. The life as an average man is brutally, un it's brutally depressing. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I'll tell you something. I don't, I don't consider myself an average man. I'm a success. I'm a very successful man, right? I have a few genetic gifts. I've worked very hard. I have financial, not gifts. I worked for them, right? Yeah, I, I've them. got accolades. I've got everything, right? My life's great. But life as an average man, Joe Schmo, is literally fucking horrible. And I don't think most women understand this because you know what the biggest problem about being an average dude is? What? If you're an average dude and you work in KFC and you ain't shit and you get a chick, do you know what the problem with that is? That means your chick fucks average dudes. Bam. So now everybody's competition. Bam. That motherfucker at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everybody competition? He, 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 because, well, you would have to stay within your standards. What if she's in love with you, you and you're in love with her? Because yeah. why would someone go above their okay. standards or less than if they don't gonna deserve you. that? I'm going to tell you. When you're a big G, you're hard to replace. Of course. But if you're literally Joe Schmo, I, it's unfortunate, but it's true. You're relatively easy to replace. But there are women in that. There's women who will take I you and fully Complete. Okay, so let me. Okay, so let me change. Let me change the paradigm. So maybe you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Please, my dear. Of all the things I am, the last is narrow-minded. Please right. listen. If you have Joe Schmo, and his chick, Joe Schmo gets zero DMs a year, and possibly one chick a year who might talk to him. His average ass chick, her inbox is still full. Bam. She still has unlimited options. Maybe they ain't great options, mm -hmm. but she still has options. And this is the point. This is why men struggle in breakups more than women. How many times have you been with a guy and after the breakup, he's blowing up your phone? Do you know why? Because you can go out to the club the same day and get a new guy. Even though that guy was still a cool dude, he's going to be lonely for months now. Mm -hmm. That's why he's mm -hmm. blowing up your phone. Like it me. is harder as a man. It's a harder game as a man from head to toe. It always has been. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not saying it shouldn't be. You women are the prize. Fantastic. Good. You're the one who can have the babies. Great thing. But when we're sitting here talking about, oh, it's hard as a chick, da, 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 it is a thousand times harder for men. And we're talking about G's of the game. If I were to sit here and send 100 DMs, right? I've got a few followers. I've got cars, money all over my Hundreds page. of thousands of followers. Hundreds, I, got blue, I, got a blue, I got a blue tick, right? I'll still only get 40, 50% reply. Okay. Imagine I had 300 followers in a Toyota. It's zero percent. You guys don't understand. You, these guys are operating at zero percent reply rate. Zero. And it's fucking hard. And it's hard. YouTube, what's good, man? You already know who it is. It's your boy Keith, man. Listen, man, the average guy struggles, man. 
know what I'm saying? He struggles, dog. And it's not a bro, it's not easy, bro. As a man, it is not easy, dog. You know, it's funny because women think we got it easy. Women think they got it harder than us. When in reality, bro, we got it 10 times harder, bro. We got it 10 times harder, bro. Especially, the, you know, with the dating game and just, just in general, just in life in general, bro. Like, it's, it's ridiculous, man, because we already have an expectation on us within society. You feel what I'm saying? So, and when most men don't, Succeed that expectation When we don't exceed that expectation um, We're considered um, losers We're considered losers, bums And stuff and that and the third So, um, you know When you're compared to rappers When you're compared to uh, other people um, That make good amount of money And that's, you know uh, That's quote unquote, you know, high value um, you're, you're a nobody Who are you, right? You're just space for real, and, and, and you know, and that's why that Andrew Tate clip, man. Andrew Andrew Tate was speaking facts, bro. He was speaking facts, man. Like you're just you're just clogged up space, you know, for the average woman, man. Like the average man, bro. You gotta understand, the average man is invisible. He's invisible to to, to women. You know what I'm saying when you go up to these night, when you go inside these nightclubs, man. You go inside these damn these stores and stuff like that, bro. You think these women are just looking at every man? No, bro. Most of these men are just invisible, bro. They can't remember the face. They can't remember a man's face. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, they could look at you and just be like, oh, I don't remember that motherfucker. Like, because, like, they have no interest in you. Like, you're, there's nothing about you that interests her. I mean, let's be real, bro. Think about it, fellas. Um, how, many, how many females do you see all the time on TV around the most high-value guys for free? Even in fucking, even in the club, even in, you know, at the VIP station. You know what I'm saying? If a chick look good, she's going to be around high value guys. Just, just because of who she is. Just because of how she looks. She didn't have to pay to get in. She didn't have to be successful to get in. All she had to do was just look good. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do the same thing? Can you sit right next to Megan the, the Stallion because you look good? Can you sit right next to Beyonce because you look good? No. You got to be somebody. You got to be successful. You got to be high value. You feel what I'm saying? So, and that's just what it is. Like, we just got different, you know, credentials next to our names. But we we have to self-improve. We have to in order to be somebody within society's norms anyway, you know? And, you know, like, not just dating, but... um but just like life in general, like we're just held to a certain standard. You know what I mean? Like the man has to take accountability at all times. So when something falls down on us, we don't have, we don't have a back end. We got to take that. We got to take that L and move on. You feel what I mean? Like that's just like the, the, responsi the um, responsibility is held on you as a man. And you can't even complain. You can't complain about that. You can't. On the other hand, it's different. The woman can do that. The woman can do that. She can complain. She can have it back in. Right? And that's okay. But there is a different, bro. It's a different struggle, bro. It's a different monster when it comes to this. No cap. But people just leave a bad eye at it. Like It's like no one cares. No one, no one cares about the struggles of a man. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your mental health as a man, right? You walk around in these streets, man. You walk around in these rooms, man. No one bats an eye. And it's because society made it to where if you can't provide anything as a man, if you have no value as a man, you're worthless. And, you know, this is exactly why I tell guys, bro, self-improve your life, man. Do what you need to do. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like, bro, you gotta understand this. There's people that's way older than me, right? I'm 25 years old. So there's people that's way older than me that's 40. You might be 40 right now watching this video, right? Which you are lucky, you know, you're blessed because you can still fix your life. But what I'm saying is this, right? There's people who didn't have this, bro. There's people who didn't have this technology that we got now 
there's people who didn't who couldn't watch a YouTube video to learn this information right and it's too late for them it's too late for them they can't even change their life because they dug themselves deep in a deeper situation than, than you know than, than it was needed to be but you know if you're watching this video bro you need to be taking notes you need to be learning man if you got this YouTube channel, I mean, if you got if you got YouTube on your phone and stuff like that, man, you need to be grateful of that, bro. Real talk. You need to be great because a lot of people didn't have this, bro. A lot of people didn't have, bro, a lot of people that never had this shit, bro. There was nobody in their ear, nobody telling them what to do, nobody telling them this this information, bro. So, you know, the internet was a curse and a bless at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the internet fucked a lot of things up, but it also, it, it gives you a different perspective and it also could, you know, get you to self-improve yourself early on time where you can be ahead of a lot of people. But man, listen, man, you just got to utilize this shit to your advantage, bro. You got to utilize it to your advantage, fam. It's a lot of free game on it. Bro, I teach y'all free game. Like I said, I'm 25 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm blessed with this knowledge early. Early, bro. Because I know a lot of niggas who's not. Who's fucking 40 years old, who's 45, 50, and they don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. They lost. But since you know I I developed my mindset into what it is now, early, I, I can I can be ahead of them. I can be ahead of the game. You feel what I'm saying? And you need to be doing the same thing, bro. Don't matter what age you are, you just need to be doing this right now, bro. You can fix it right now if you're watching this damn video, bro. You just gotta use it to your advantage. And apply it. Apply it, bro. That 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 see, that's the difference between the average man and the man that's successful, bro. Because the average man, he don't apply it, bro. <laughs> he don't apply the knowledge. Even though he might know it, he just don't apply it. But man, if you serious about improving your life, man, listen, I do have a Patreon. Link will be in the comment section down below. But man, that's it for the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Keese, and I'm out. Peace.